Okay, guys, question five on paper one. Uh, ben has booked a holiday and paid the deposit. He has to pay a balance of £2,173 in seven months' time. So Ben's net pay is £838 per month. He pays 12% of his pay into a private pension and £250 to his parents towards living costs. So let's take off those deductions first. So let's have a look at um, 12%. So on the calculator, you want to type in £838 times the multiplier for 12%. Well, divide by 100. Divide this by 100 to get your multiplier, 0.12. That's to find 12%. Once you calculate that, you should get £100.56. pence. £250 uh, goes to his parents, so that's another outgoing. So I'm just going to put that down as well. We're going to take off £250. So if we add those together, we should be able to work out the total deductions, because those are the only two things that we need to pay off before we start saving money. So if we add those together, you're going to get £350.56. That is what we need to pay off each month before we can start saving. So he decides to say, sorry, he decides to save two thirds of the remaining money. Well, we don't know what the remaining money is yet, so let's work that out first. So we started with eight hundred and thirty-eight pounds. We then had to give um, three hundred and fifty pounds up for deductions, so things that we have to pay off each month. And that will leave us with um, a total of, type it into the calculator, £487.44. So we've got that left over, and he's going to save two-thirds of this. So let's work out what two-thirds of that is. On the calculator, I think the most accurate way to work out what two-thirds of something is, is to times it by the fraction two-thirds. If we start using decimals, we're rounding up straight away. So that will equal um, £324.96. Alright, so there we go. That's how much we are saving each month. Will he have enough to pay off the holiday. Well, the holiday costs £2,173. We're going to be saving this amount each month for how long? Well, it said in the question, didn't it? Um, he's got to pay it off in seven months' time. So all we're going to do is times that by seven. £324.96 times the seven for the seven months. How much money has he saved? By the end of the seven months, he saved £2,274 and a bit of change, 72p. Okay, so we know that, yes, he has. He's going on holiday. He saved enough to pay for the holiday. Hope that was helpful.